Yeah, but, but I, I think, I, I truly believe actually that this is a entirely wrong conviction. And, and many people have that conviction that there is this, this one trick, that one tip, that one, one thing that accelerates everything and makes your employee communication in that case a successful one overnight. And, and this is simply not existent. And it, it is the same as in every other area of your life. If you want to lose weight, if you want to play piano, if you want to become a basketball player, whatever it might be, there is not this one magic pill that makes that happen overnight. It is always lots of effort needed. There's always lots of effort needed. It's a marathon. Hard work you have to put in in order to achieve something and to make something a success. Same accounts for employee communication. But I know I guess that, that probably um, doesn't answer your question perfectly. So to, to give you some practical tips, and as I said, each of them is nothing you can achieve overnight, but things you should at least consider to integrate, consider to establish, consider to set up if you want to boost your, your employee communication or if you want to elevate it to the next level. Um, one thing is about, for example, mobile first strategy. I'm a huge, huge advocate of this um, strategy. Do not waste time trying to use as many channels as possible. Emails, video conferences, um, written letters, Slack, uh, chat, Slack or any other kind of uh, chat tool and, and videos and audio and so on and so on probably even um, printed newspapers, concentrate on mobile first, probably even mobile only. Because this is 90 or 95% of your people are consuming in today's world, are consuming their information, their content. And this is not only linked to your internal corporate content, but they are consuming content on their mobile or with their mobile. And that's why your information the employee information, the corporate co uh, information you want to distribute has to be available at that device. Otherwise, your content is simply irrelevant. So mobile first, mobile only, I would even go for mobile only, is a strategy you should um, consider doing. Another aspect is about um, the content you are, you are distributing, you are creating. First of all, I think um, you should go for a huge variety of different content. Employees are simply used to consume different types of content depending on their mood, depending on what they want to achieve. It is not only about written word and I know still a lot of companies are putting out emails and newsletters and things like that. It is about a variety of content. Put out, of course, written words, but put out audios, put out visuals, put out videos, put out memes, for example. There are so many different content types you can utilize. And this always depends, that brings me to my, to my third point, um, to address different needs of your employees. They are not always in the mood of getting new information. Sometimes they are looking for motivation, sometimes they are looking for emotion, sometimes they want to create knowledge, new insights, create a situation awareness, know what is going on. There are so many things employees are looking for. That means your content has to address those different moods or the different goals your employees are looking for. So it's extremely important to produce a huge amount of content, a variety of different content forms and content that addresses different needs of your employees. And that brings me directly to my third point. I'm a big fan and I think this is the only way to go actually when it comes to employee communication, when it comes to distributing corporate information, corporate content to your employees, it is about automated content. There, there shouldn't be a, a department who is doing nothing else than creating content the whole day. I believe that 90%, at least 90%, even more of the content you're distributing to your employees should be created automatically. And there are many, many possibilities how you can achieve that integrate um, different sources, go for external source, for example, Twitter, Instagram and stuff like this. Extremely important, especially to, to drive information, to drive emotion, to drive motivation. You can go for internal sources, 
operational um, systems, HR systems, financial systems, and integrate those um, information directly into, into your um, employee communication platform. So automated content is extremely important in order to create content and scale, because I think this is really relevant to have a continuous content and information flow towards your employee and or not to waste time, too much time to create content manually and don't have, uh, you don't have to have many people sitting around and, and creating um, that, that content basically. Um, external co um, content, I think this is also a very important aspect, um, not only focus on internal content, both of um, the worlds are important. You want to know what's going on outside so you can integrate news website and I mentioned already um, the um, social media channels you could integrate, you can integrate podcasts for example, videos, whatever it might be. Of course you have to carefully select what kind of content is relevant, what kind of content serves the different needs you want to address, the different goals you want to achieve, but external content is often overlooked when it comes to corporate communication. And I think it has to be both. You have to have external content and you have to have internal content that provides more insights about your company, about processes, about goals, about KPIs and all that stuff. So it's a combination, it's a combination of both. And probably the a, a, um, last tip, tip number five basically is um, you really have to have a, an amazing, and I read the, the right word, an amazing app, a solution, a mobile solution on the smartphones of each employee with a perfect user interface an incredible user experience um, that you, you have to have an app that people want to use. And I, I'm always coming back to that, to that point, the battle of attention. Your employees are, at every point in time, they think about how to spend the next five minutes, probably when they are um, at lunch, breakfast, whatever it might be. Do they want to spend it with Facebook or Instagram, a news app or whatever other app they have on their mobile, probably um, some, some gaming app, whatever it might be. Or should they spend the next five minutes scrolling through your employee communication app and gather the latest information, the latest insights, the latest motivational quotes, whatever it might be. And therefore, the solution you're using, the, the employee communication app you're using, has to have a perfect, perfect, perfect user interface and an incredible user experience. People want to use that app. This is so extremely, extremely important and very, very often very underrated, very underestimated. The, the, the impact is very underestimated of the um, of such an of such an app. And finally, one one last thing that comes into my mind to, to make it very practical, it is about analyzing you should really start initiatives to analyze what kind of content is consumed, how content is consumed, which content is probably liked, which content is shared, where do you get a lot of comments on, where do you get a lot of feedback. So you need a very, very good feedback loop to analyze what content is liked, what not, and what kind of content you should produce more or you should produce less. Um, those are basically my, my, my tips and I, I know each of the tips can't be achieved with, within a day or a week or a month. There's some effort you have to put in. But as I mentioned, it, is, it should be some effort you have to put in. But the success and the results you can try with that are simply incredible.